can you touch it? It's like this. Well, actually, it's right here. So the, the hand-eye coordination, she's not seeing her hand, so there's nothing. Everything's learned at that point. But that was one thing. But she was able to reach out and touch the tips of the heat. And it is, uh, we, you know, we had to do things just a whole lot, a whole lot different. We had to adjust our ways of thinking on it. Now, the, the visual acuity, everybody, had, it's, a, it's a number, it's a scary number. When everybody says 20 this, 20, 20, 30, 20, 40, 20, 50. It, it all is, it's a simple way of measuring it. It, doesn't, it does not tell me anything about your prescription or what you see. It tells me it's just a size of a letter at a certain distance away. So when you look at a big E on the chart, when you look at a big E, this is, a, this is the same size as what you would see on a night chart, the big E. And it's, it's a 400 foot letter. And all it is is it's, it's a, the size of a letter, it's, a, it's an angular size, a number, but the 2400 means that the person has to be 20 feet away to see this. There's nothing bad about their eyes. It's just, that's how, it's a, it's a way to tell what they can see. It is, uh, it's, uh, if you were to move a little bit closer, you can see a little bit. If you see a, a smaller number, it's, it's a size 20. It might be 20, 20. You might be 10 feet away to see this. But it's, uh, it's just a way, of, it's not a, it's not a end all thing. It's just a way of us classifying just the angle of the vision that you have. Now there's, a, there's an easy way to do this. Another way you can do this, it is uh, the 2400 is about the same size. If you hold your thumb out, arm's length, and you look at somebody somebody there, that the, the size of your finger is the same size as this is at 20 feet. So if you're 20 feet back, you, that's about 2400. And so that's one thing, and that's the thing. I was going to say everybody can do that, and I, was, I, I just envisioned everybody holding their fingers up and like we're doing some commercial here, but, but it was that. That's just a, a way that you can tell how well you see. Now, the, the, the only problem is when now when Riley came in her first visit, she could see, she had to get two feet from this to see it. This was a, at arm's length to see this, this, this size letter. But it was, so it would be two, <coughs> which is really 20 over 4,000. And that sounds a whole lot worse than when you think of 2,400. But the, the stigma behind it is that you, you hear people say they're blind. Blind is just, it's just this. It's just this letter of 20 feet. That's all it is. It doesn't mean they can't see things. But it is just a, it's just a way to classify. And when, when we look at this, we can see her at, she could see this this two this 400 foot letter at two feet. She could see 20 over 4,000 the first month, or the, the first couple weeks after she was back. We came back a month later. She could see the next size down, a 300 foot letter. So it had, it had improved by 25 percent in one month, and that's what we've seen with with a number of the kids that you can see you can see their improvement. You can see the change. These are, this was this helps the skeptics of the people that would say it doesn't work when you know that they can see this. The, uh, the other thing that we would have to do, we would, we would document any changes that we see. We would take photographs of the optic nerve. We would take pictures in the office just so we, can, so we can look and see what is changing on this. What are the changes that are taking place? We're, we're going to say we had, at that point, we had no idea what to expect. And so we would, we would take them into the room where the camera was, and we look into the camera. It's got a little dotted. Well, it's a whole lot smaller than this, than this is here. And it would be, uh, it's a whole lot smaller. So to have them look into this camera, to have the little kids that, that, that the one don't want to be there and two can't see it, it's it proof for a lot of interesting days. We may take, uh, we may have them hold there, and the, and the machine is really built for an adult, so we've got to have the, the parents hold the chins up and hold their heads in and, and try, to, try to hold them in place to where we can get this thing to work and hopefully usually what we would do we'd start down about the age of 20 or we started i'm sorry start about counting down from 20 20 19 and we would tell the kids just to tell them we're going to i'm going to count down to one just maybe they can hold still long enough that we can get the picture and we may take 25 or 30 pictures to get one and then start again to see and so we would go through a lot of these trying to get these uh to get these down the uh over the next couple couple months we saw many other kids saw uh, we saw Brady Johnson we saw Riley uh, saw, uh, Glenn from Springfield uh, Savannah we had a lot of these kids Kaysen and Dagan that they came in and these kids are wonderful the families are all wonderful to work with there is uh, but, you, but you can see small improvements 
as we go, as we went along. You can see small improvement in the division, but you can see huge functional improvements where uh, where you would see the uh, uh, you would see them, you would hear what they were doing at home, that they're walking down the hallways without their hands out. And you could see Cameron walking around here for somebody that couldn't see anything before. The fact that he can walk, we watched him walk up and down the aisles, it's just he doesn't reach out and touch, he, he can see these things. We ended up having to shift to some of the things where some of the, uh, some of the children had a, uh, were very small or were nonverbal. And so what we found out was a way that we could have them look at different line gradings. And the, and the test is very rudimentary. It does work, but the, all, the, all the results on it say, well, don't expect too much from it. But with the kids, when the, when the test, we could actually the same way, figure out well, how well they see roughly on this without them having to do anything. All they've got to do is just, we have to have them just keep their eyes open. That's all it is. And so we, we end up beginning to do these things. Uh, we were looking, uh, when we were looking at them to trace letters, again, their hand-eye coordination, coordination was next to nothing before. And so they, we're trying to get them to trace a letter here with a hand that they, you know, this is something new. They've not seen this before. And trying to get them to trace the letter and we had to look real closely to see to try to depict is that did they really get close enough to trace it? is that really what it was uh, but the thing about the children without exception every single one of them improved whether we were able to measure visually here or functionally what the parents have told us there was not one that did not there was not one that didn't do anything uh, we would always schedule these kids at the end of the day because it, they, I mean truly they are a blessing to see it's after a long day it's like Boy, I hope one of the kids comes in today because they're they're so enlightening. Uh, we had um, on two things there was uh, uh, you know there there were two stories that stand out. One of them was with uh, with Riley came in and her mom was telling me about around Christmas that she had uh, she had gotten a she asked me what asked her what she got for Christmas from her uncle and it was a it was a lump of coal for her grandfather. It was a lump of coal and so I asked Riley. What did you get for, for Christmas? I don't want to talk about it. What did you get for Christmas? I'm so mad. He's so mean. I'm going to throw it away. And that the whole the whole visit was talking about how she got this lump of coal for Christmas because she didn't deserve anything else. And it, I mean, things like that at the end of the day, it's really nice. We had uh, another one where uh, Dagan comes from southeast Missouri. And Dagan is, I think, four when we saw him. And uh, Dagan didn't want to be there. The first time he was... He was. Uh, we we had we came on a Sunday to see if we could get uh, get. We were just trying to get the photos. Just we had everything we needed up to that point. But we were, he was getting ready to uh, to go to China. We were to see if we could get the photos. Uh, and so I had my son come in, who was with he's 17, and, and tall and strong. And, and we had the parents came in, and we sat down at the machine, and. It, but my son had one hand and had it behind the neck. Uh, his father had the other hand down, holding him on top of the head. His mom, he was sitting on his mom's lap, and she had her arms around him, trying to hold his chin. And I was trying to open an eyelid and push a button. But after 45 minutes, we didn't get it done. And uh, so, it, but it, and the one thing we needed one more person because he was kicking like he was kicking like there was no tomorrow. And luckily, I was he was a little bit short, so he didn't reach. Uh, he was only 38 pounds. He was a little bit, he outweighed us, and it was, not a, it was not a good thing. He was four years old. I'm sure that he was not, I'm quite sure he wasn't a bodybuilder in a wrestler suit. He was strong. I mean, he was, it was a lot, but it, he, uh, and he didn't fight her. He wanted us punished in the worst way. We're all trying to not hurt him. And, and then finally, at one point, he let out the shrillest scream I have ever heard to the point where your ears were ringing after it stopped. And my son just looked over and said, wow. And it was, and, we looked back and I thought, this is the loudest scream I've ever heard. But after, again, after 45 minutes, we did not get the picture. And finally, we let him go on home. But the, uh, that was on his first visit. But later on, about three or four visits later, he came back. And, oh, we would sit down and we would, we would do things like, uh, we'd say, you, 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 you have about five minutes to get the exam done. You had about five minutes to get everything done that you need to. The rest of it you can fill in. But he would, uh, so we'd ask him, he was telling us about his dog, Shadow. And so we sat there and sang Old McDonald about 30 times, and he named every single dog in the neighborhood. And